everyone. Happy, happy Tuesday. How are we doing? I've missed you all. Did you have a good weekend? Let me know. If you did have a good weekend, I want to hear about it. I like to hear good things that happened to you all. If I'll you let you know in, what happened to me all weekend after you say what you're about to say. Okay, Becca. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, if you happen to be new here, my name is Rachel, and the voice that you just heard is Becca. And this table is not high enough for my comfort level. I'll fix that. <laughs> I'd, I'd like you to just see about, you know, mid chest and up. It would be funny. You know what we should do? You know those little tiny hands that are everywhere right now? <laughs> yes. We need to craft for those. That'd be hysterical. I'm going to Google that. We need but some tiny hands. Beck and I are both owners and craft educators here at Oak and Lamb, and it's our goal to make you confident and well-rounded crafters, no matter what area of crafting you're passionate about. We have a membership. It's on sale, 20 bucks off. So if you want to grab that, grab that. The link is down below. Beck will be sprinkling it in the comment section throughout the video. Ask any questions. Let us know if you're new here because we like welcoming new people. Uh, we are testing a craft today that we've, or craft, a product today that we've never used. So that's going to be something. Okay. How we doing, Becca? What did, what did you want to tell them? Oh, just that I got puked and pooped on all weekend. It's all true. weekend. It's that true. was my weekend. But I still had a decent weekend somehow. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Um, Rachel went and saw a movie. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, it was quite the movie. It was called Renfield. Um, two Nicholases in it. Nicholas Cage. And Nick, I'm going to butcher his name. Hout. Hout, H A. There's an L in there, but I feel like it's a silent L. I don't know. Don't quote me on any of that. But it was like the dumb funny. You know those movies? Okay, like, uh, but I've never funny. seen Nicolas Cage in a dumb funny movie. I don't He's think. A, he is Count Dracula in this movie. It's funny. His teeth are all filed to a point. He, you know, he will of course in movie effect uh, special effects. It's like this set of dentures. It's it was something. I thought it was like a good movie <laughs> storyline wise. But if any of you have ever seen it or want to see it, it's like a dumb, funny movie. So We have a first-time viewer here. I think, am I saying it right? Is it Brita? Um, Hi. Let me know. Yeah. Welcome. She's from Ireland. We're happy that you found us here. We sure are. We are going to do a fun trial. Product test for you. Yeah. One of our members recommended this. We've never used this. Now, we sublimate a ton here. We, we are mess not, up a ton. We are not just cricket crafters. Here at Oakland <clears throat> Lane, we dabble in a ton of other things like um, sublimation. We do a lot of uh, cutting with our glow forge, cutting wood and etching and all that good stuff. Uh, whether it be screen printing or... Are you okay? <laughs> I thought oh, it's a little too tall for that. <laughs> Her top, Megan's top knot hit one of the lots that we don't ever use. Uh, what's wrong with my... Well, what happened was I crossed my legs and went to lean back and I almost fell on the floor. <laughs> Our desk chairs have been well loved. Mine here. is fine. You're all sucks. I'm rough on my chairs. I know. We got... Anyway, sorry. No. So many tangents. No, it's fine. That's what we do here. Sorry about it. You're just going to have to love us for who we are here. <clears throat> uh, we mess up a lot on sublimation is the point I was trying to make. And when we mess up on sublimation... The rule kind of thus far has been, sorry, you wasted your money, yeah. throw it away. Um, however, we found this product from a member's recommendation, and it's supposed to remove the, the ink, sublimation like the ink. dye from stuff like this. Now, this is black, and it's red, and it's like neon yellow. So while this was a happy accident, this is going to be a really decent test to see if this works. Yeah. We have it. This is the first time I've ever opened the box. Me and Becca both. I've not even watched a morning, video on it. I have we to be honest. Like, I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, I'm concerned with it working. The member who told us about it said it's like low odor and all that good stuff. She and said she used it and it did work too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, removes tough stains. I mean, it removes stains from basically, basically anything. Um, Sharpie, grass, crayon, ink, slash dye, wine, grease, slash oil, paint, tomato, coffee, tea. I think what I'm going to do, because there's kind of no, well, it, there's instructions in here. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to do it right, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just smearing it on. and, and Like, do you have to wait or waiting anything? Waiting a smidge. Um, do not wet stain before applying. Okay. For ink stains, place paper towel beneath to avoid transfer. So, like, on, you know, that makes have sense. something. Shake the bottle well, apply it to the stain, 
rub in with fingers and then rinse or launder. Wait, 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 wait. Like no gloved fingers? Oh, no, no, no. Rub in with fingernail or brush. I'm going to put gloves on for sure. Yeah, I mean, if it's going to eat the stain off, it would... I'm, I'm going to wear gloves. Don't worry. I've it, already doesn't, got it doesn't warn you to use gloves? No. That's interesting. Okay. Gently rub with brush or paper towel. As stain transfers with paper towel, rotate towel to a clean area and continue rubbing. Continue working the stain area until no ink appears on the paper towel. Okay. So, we're going to... We're going to do this thing. I'm excited. We're going to see if this So works. this is a great thought. Uh, Shirley said it will probably, I, I, I don't know if she meant ruin the coating, I would think, Rachel. That's, yeah, That's a good thought. It might eat through it. So what we may do, I might print out another sublimation sheet really quick. Um, and it doesn't have to be pretty. We can just throw it on there and see if if it cleans off, if we throw another sublimation sheet on it, yeah. if it will still work. Let's see That's if a good thought. I, I don't know if it will or not. Yeah, I don't either. I don't know if it will or not. I'm so nervous about it, but all we can do is try. Yeah. I mean, all we can do is, is, is uh... um, this is exciting. Gently rub with a brush or paper towel. So should I go like all in, like just rub it down completely and then let it set and start wiping it off in a few minutes? What would what? Why not? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Why not? Okay, let me get a couple more gloves just in case. So, I honestly can't even think about how many of these we've ruined. Not ruined. We're not perfect, okay? We might have been doing this for like cumulatively like 10 years, but we're not perfect, so we still make mistakes and stuff like that. And especially if you guys are buying these as blanks to like sell them or something. You don't want to be wasting your money and dipping into your profits by making little mistakes like this. So if this allows us to remove the ink from this and then be able to reapply something that works, this is going to be like a game changer, I think. Okay, all we can do is try. We have friends who are appreciative that we're doing this live for the first time. I, we knew you guys would be. I can't decide if it's because we're lazy or if we really want to give you our honest opinions. Both, Becca. You know, whichever way makes you feel better about it, ladies and gentlemen. We might, I haven't seen any gentlemen on here, but we might have. Is Scott here with us? I'm just... I haven't even seen... Kat, did I see a comment that you all got snow? Let me know. Rachel, have you seen the puppies that Kat has posted? Is it stinky? It smells like shampoo. So it's really mild. You want me to go overhead? Yeah. Nothing's coming off. Okay. Interesting. I should have put this on, on the tumbler turner. I should have put this on the tumbler That's okay. <laughs> Oh no, Beth. She said, unfortunately, I came back from Disney World with an unwanted souvenir bronchitis, so I'll probably be going back to sleep soon. Love your heart. <clears throat> hey, Scott. How's your ear? Um, I had a mole check yesterday. If you all are moly like I am, here's a friendly reminder to go do your annual mole check. Um, everything came back fine, by the way. Uh, but while I was there, she gave me some stuff for rosacea, which I'm really excited about. I've never actually treated my rosacea, and I don't know why. So I'm eager to see if that helps or not. I made an appointment to go see a dermatologist as well. For a mole check? Sure. What's it for? Why did uh, you go? My you nose. don't have to tell. I got, I have warts on my nose like a witch. How have I never noticed? I know. Now Which, I'm only going to be able to see it. That's fine. Which growing up, I had several yes. warts. I had an issue on my feet at one point and I had to get them all burned off or frozen, frozen, frozen off. This doesn't work at all. <laughs> what are we what are we doing wrong nothing let me i mean this thing removes all kind do we all have kinds a, of things we have a brush let me see if we have a brush i'm just gonna keep applying it smell i can't wait for you to smell this becca smell this 
smells like shampoo. It smells really good. Did somebody just put shampoo in a bottle and trying to sell it to us? I would believe it. Well, you know. I would believe it. I'm glad I picked the title for this video. <laughs> Does it work? Does it work? <laughs> the answer is no. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed our 10-minute live stream. <laughs> I'm kidding. We'll tr we might try and find something else we've sublimated. I don't think we have do, a brush. You can do fabric. Fabric, too. Oh, it says that we're removing from fabric. Uh huh. All right, let me see if I've got something that's been sublimated. Let me see. Yeah, rinse or launder. Um. Yeah, it can, we can work on something that's fabric. I think the only fabric thing that we have that's sublimated is my mouse pad, which we can try. Oh my gosh, I don't want to know. I don't want to do the, your mouse pad. We have a million of them, and by the looks of it, it's not going to work anyway. Oh. That's so you sad. Want me to test a corner? No, or I don't just... care. Whatever. Um, okay. Let me put some gloves on here. <laughs> Is it working on you? No. What in the world? No. I feel like this is shampoo in a bottle. Could it possibly need to be done immediately after sublimating? That's a thought, Tracy. Here we go. Note. Wait, where was that? Hang on, I just read something about that. It said that it doesn't... Stains do not have to be treated immediately. Take your time. Amodex will remove stains that have been there for weeks provided nothing has been applied. Meaning like no other... Uh, solution to try and get it to be removed so it says is there anything coming off on it nope no transfer of color nothing <sighs> this is why we test this is why we test yeah nothing yeah huh interesting it's even been setting for a minute i'm gonna yeah this glove is not Gross. It smells so good. See, that's a problem for me. I feel like we've been punked. I swear. <laughs> Why should it smell this good? Well, I'm so glad we did this, though. I don't want other people to purchase it. It says, very heavy ink spots, especially those in pockets and along seams, take patience to remove. Although we don't guarantee the Amodex. Amodex? Amodex. Amodex. I don't know. We'll always remove heavy ink spots. We know and assure you that it's your most effective choice. Now I feel like I want to like open up a pen and dump ink on something just to see if it works at all Let's on do anything. It. Let's Where, do it. Okay. Hang on. Let me, me de-glove. It's not doing anything. How am I supposed to do that, Becca? Hang on. The pen? Do you have just a gel? There might be one in my top drawer. Don't use a good one. I've probably got a crappy one. Second drawer, maybe. If all we have is the good ones, that's fine. That's all we have. I'm gonna grab one. Let me get a piece of nothing. That's crazy. Gosh, it smells good though. Okay. <clears throat> Let me use a sock. Why do we have a big old pack of socks back? <laughs> I got them from Five Below. Okay. Oh wait, it says it removes Sharpie. Let me get a Sharpie. It's lotion for sublimation. <laughs> this is nice and moisturized. <laughs> oh, I'm an artist. I am an artist. What if in a few days it's gone? My God, I love what an optimist you are. That's my favorite. Okay, wait, I gotta put more gloves on. I don't know. This could be like this, the secret moisturizer to make my hands... Super, I'm gonna super read this. Nice. Hold on. Yeah, Becca, make sure I'm not doing. Well, something. I just know that we're live, and so. <laughs> okay. Um. Listen, guys. If this doesn't take anything, anything out. So Charlotte, here's the thing. We've been told this works. That's why we bought it to test. Is because uh, we thought it would be successful on something like this. 
Gently rub with brush or a paper towel. As stain transfer to paper towel, rotate towel to a clean area and continue rubbing. Continue working the stained area until no ink appears on the paper towel. Launder in a regular laundry. Nothing. 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 Let me leave it. Leave it for a second. Okay. I feel. I don't know. I think we just got lotion. I feel like we got. <laughs> I feel like we got shampoo. It smells really. I would totally use it. Together. For porous surfaces, plastic walls, etc. Mm -hmm. Coat the area with Amidex and leave on overnight. But that cup is not porous. No, it's wipe not clean with damp rag. It says it. Back a look. It says it takes out Sharpie. Nothing. I mean, basically nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, now we have our answer, friends. What? Oh, nope. Nothing. Well, what else? What else can we do? What else can we do? Y'all let me know. I'll leave this on here for a bit. Let me come back to this cup. I've run my flock mug through the dishwasher so many times it's faded in spots. Not sure what's causing that. A sublimated mug? Huh. Was your, are you sure your mug was uh, sublimation friendly? Liminal. We all did learn something new today. Yes, we did. Well, can I tell you guys my, my favorite part about this? Is that I'm not sitting over here like choking to death on fumes. That's true. I'm just smelling. It's not floral, mm. but it's sweet. <sighs> it smells so good. Grazil said, I hope there's a plan B for this live. Yeah, Q&A time. Hit us with your q and A. I I hope there's a plan B for We're this We're cool live. with that. We're you cool guys with know that. we just roll with the punches around here. Yeah. You guys let, let us, us know. know. Um... Hey, I have a question for you all. We are going to do a wood burning live on Thursday. I have a cute little project that I want to do. What wood burning techniques have you used? I have like the scorch pen, but do you guys prefer the pen over a paste or the paste over like what what scorch bur or wood burning techniques have you used that you like? I want to I hear really like that one. You should have told me that you returned it to me. I could have worked on my resting face. Oh, sorry. They just didn't want to see any more of our craft fail. Really? Yeah. Do I now have one? Two? Look at my face. I'm like. <laughs> I just didn't think you really cared, right? You know, I sent Rachel some really great pictures this weekend. Anna did my hair for a family photo shoot. It's the first updo Anna's ever done. Anna is <sighs> hella good at updos, by the way. Like she always has been, but I've never, never had an updo because my hair is generally as short as Rachel's. Um, and so she did an updo for the first time. So I had to take pictures of it. And of course I had to do some prom poses while Wayne was taking pictures. He thought I was an idiot, but I took, <laughs> sent the pictures to Rach and I was like, Rach, I don't understand why no one ever asked me to prom. I don't listen. I don't either. What a catch. They were what really a, great what pictures. A catch. <laughs> I never went to prom. I don't feel like I missed anything. I mean, I, I'm funny. Why did no one want me to go to prom with them? That's the only good thing you can say about yourself is that you're funny. Well, I've never been like a knockout brick house gorgeous person. I have to I, I have to win them over with my humor. I'm also really good at other things like cooking. I'm very competitive. Like you'd probably want me on your team. Lord knows I do. Right? Lord knows I want back on my team. That didn't work on anything. <laughs> Quite a sock you have there. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I Thank didn't you. love the scorch pen, but the paste works really well. Okay, Tracy, great. I made this thing at MGL. Uh, do you remember back? It was like this powder, and you mix it with water, and you brush it on, and it dries. Like and then stencil, you burn it. And then you burn it. I really liked that. Oh. That did really well. That did super well. Seems like everyone likes the paste. It was a paste when you when all was said and done. It, it it was a paste. Okay, 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 okay. Here's a great question. You have the two color cubes in the background. How often do you use them, Miss Kathy asked. Um, I've got to be honest. I am actually, not to pat myself on the back, but I'm actually really great with color combinations. So I don't I don't necessarily need to use it a whole lot. Um, 
I do like to use it when I am stumped. Like if I'm doing a, co a collection of cut files or something like that and want a fun color palette, then I like to refer to it and just use those color palettes. But um, I think if you're not wonderful with colors, you would use it even more. Which and, is what I struggle with when I first started yeah, craft. I struggle yeah. with it now still, but thank goodness Becca's here where I just say, hey, Becca, come here and pick these colors. But when I first started, it was one of my biggest insecurities was what colors to go together, how to match up colors, whatever. Because uh, when I started, it was... Rachel, you need to make projects that's going to be pleasing to everyone type of deal. So that there was pressure on me to make sure that the colors I chose were uh, pleasing to the vast majority of people. Uh, and I would have died to have color cubes like that. I mean, whether that be for crafts or interior design, whatever, the colors are really helpful to help you choose. I mean, if you want to look through them to go to the nail salon and find some colors for spring mm -hmm. nails, or, I mean, yeah. apply it to anything where you just want to have a little bit of uh, direction as far as color choices go in your life. They're super helpful for that. I love them. For those of you asking about the color cubes, here is the link for them. Um, Grizel has a great question. She hasn't used her sublimation printer in a while. Is there anything she needs to do before she does it? It, it honestly depends. Um, we have not used our sublimation printer for a quite a good amount of time and had zero issues. And then sometimes it shoots out and there's lines through it or one of the colors doesn't want to work. So honestly, you're just going to have to print something out and find Save. out. Um, if it doesn't print beautifully, then you may need to clean the print head or clear out the lines or something like that. But that's a great question. Um, that's the method I did, Rachel. Ammonia, ammonium chloride and yes, Cap. thick yeah. it mixed with water works awesome. Okay, I love it. Thick it. Yes, that's it. I, I really liked that. Um... Um, that way to do it. It was good. I used to always use color wheels. Yes, Diana. Um, color wheels are so fun. They're really pretty too. Well, especially if you're selling something, you want it to be a, a nice color palette. You don't want to make it, um, super boring or anything like that. So it's good to have those as a reference for sure. Jen, I love that. I let my daughter choose her B-Day party colors based on the cubes cards. Love that So idea. fun. This is hysterical. And then Penny said, oh man, I was going to be good, but I think I really want the cubes. I do love the cubes. I kind of wish, and I might still get it, that I had the digital version of it as well to put on my iPad. Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. To, yeah. Even to use an illustrator. Yeah. Now the, the, cards that come in the cubes have the hex code so that's really nice if you're using illustrator or something like that um okay stacy likes the scorch pins um, scorch pins i think are the, e the easiest yeah i think to so do, too sure. and i think that's what our hobby lobby has i don't know if it has anything else i'm gonna have to go today and look um kate said this is great by the way kate said becca i found a, gr a good list of pigment based inkjet printers instead of the dye based inks the canon pixma pros which we have and love and the epson stylus are both shown as pigment based this is great um it's a great information because we have found um that some printers do well with with printable blanks and some do not <laughs> We had never had that issue before because we always use the same printers. Yeah, yeah. But when we grabbed our Epson workforce and wanted to use it for large format uh, print and cuts because you can now do bigger than 6.75 by 9.25, we had a little issue with the black. A little issue there. Um, Linda said, I just got my fourth and my husband hopes my last Timu order. I ordered it's not your last, It's not Linda. your last. Not even close. Unless your husband's watching, in which case that was it for you. <laughs> uh, I ordered a 12 piece acrylic paint pen set. They are going to be great fun to use. The Ooh. colors are vibrant. Listen. Did you get it from Timu? Yes. Yeah. She said she got it from Timu. Becca has ruined me on acrylic paint pens. Ruined. I got to say, I'm kind of proud that I've ruined it though. But I mean, they're, they're, they're phenomenal. So, I love they them. They are. So go you. I hope you absolutely adore them. Uh, Mom said that she ordered her O and L. She said click, but she meant clock. I have to bust your chops because I know that she, she knows. <laughs> Anyway, um, her O and L clock. So for those of you who do not know, we do have merch available merch. Mm -hmm. on our website. You can go to the flock shop and check out our merch. So many of you asked for it and there's some cute stuff in there. Our flock members have started posting their orders are coming in. So I'm really cute. excited to I see know. everything that comes in. It's very cute. I'm impressed with everything that has come in so far. I am. I hope you all absolutely yeah. wore all of your flock merch as well. Um, uh, speaking of flock again, we are running a sale 20 bucks off. Yeah. We started that. 
about today. five minutes before the live. Yeah. So if you would like 20 bucks off your very first year with us, use the code 20 off. That's 20OFF at checkout and you can get 20 bucks off your yearly membership. Now, Rachel, what's different about this promotion? It may or may not be discounted. Forever. 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 You mm -hmm. don't just get $20 off your first year. You get $20 off every, every year. year. Yeah. Which, oh, what? We only usually do that like once a year. And, we and thought, normally it's, yeah. We thought, what the heck? So instead of giving you a discount for 20 bucks off your first year, which is normal for, you know, coupons like this, if you want to stick with us forever, you get 20 bucks off every single year, which is amazing. So join today if you haven't already. Uh, we have over a thousand digital cut files with free commercial use licensing. So whether you have a die cutting machine like a Cricut, Brother Scan and Cut, Silhouette, or if you like to work with things like sublimation or with your Glowforge, really our digital cut files can be used with whatever it is that you want to use them for. And then of course you can sell those free with that commercial use license. We have so much included in membership. We have some really great free courses, some member only videos, a member only podcast, a Facebook group that's exclusive to flock members and so much more. Uh, we're always adding to our membership without increasing the price, which is what we aim to do here. We want to make the membership a place that every crafter wants to be. So join today if you haven't already. We would love to welcome you as a member of our flock today. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Kat said, I have a question. When is Doug and Anna? That's a great question, Kat. Can you please private message Anna and badger her? Because I have asked her straight up three or four times. She still has not given me an answer. That is ready whenever. He is on board, excited to do it. Nothing makes me more excited than thinking yeah. about Doug in here. And us. It, I mean, it's going to be the cutest. And the project oh. is really fun. Yeah. I really love the project. Um, question here, where do you get an ink blotch for stencils? I don't know. No idea. I don't know. I don't use one, so I don't know. That's a great Not question. I would, uh, uh, I would just think a craft store, no? Ink Let me look for you. Ink blotch. I mean, yeah, like scrapbook.com has them too. Um, Amazon? I'm sure. I'm going to guess Amazon. The Amazons. The Amazons. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We've got a few minutes. To these are great there. questions. I love these. Uh, Daddy has his tools laid out already, Mama said. Yes, he is ready. He's been ready. He was ready the day after I told him I wanted to do it. You know what? Maybe I'll kick Anna to the curb and just do it with him. Anna? But everybody Miss loves Anna. Anna. They all love Anna. She's everybody probably been Anna. asked to prom and not me. I don't know. I was never asked to prom. It's okay. We missed out, Rachel. <laughs> we missed out on a we fun are, time. We are catches. Yeah, we are. We're catches. We should make our own prom. We we should. We should. We should. I'll put a wig on so that Anna can give me an updo. Okay. No, we could do like clip and extensions and so your tracks oh, your tracks would be totally please. visible. That would be Oh, I like that great. idea. We could get like the most god awful ugly dresses. Like mine would literally like whoever I'm dancing with, I would have to like reach out to them. No, that's I could see you in a duct tape be. dress. Oh, okay, duct tape. Or, or, Trash or, bag duct tape. What about those um, like Capri Suns? Yes, yes. Those. We could sew okay. all those together. Trash bag duct tape Capri Sun. We could just make it all. Okay. Yeah. Done. <laughs> oh, who wants to come to the O&L prom? Oh, and a flock prom. Micah said, prom. yes, I love that. That would be. That's hysterical. Insane. Just insane. Also, I don't dance, so there's that. We'd I have to come dance. up with something. I mean, I could do like some hopscotch or something. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. Um, hop, hopscotch. I used to be good at hopscotch. Let me tell you, we'd get our chalk out or actually that's not true. We didn't have chalk when we were growing up. We would find rocks that would draw on the concrete. <laughs> we would draw back we, in 500 BC, back in the early nineties. Right. And we would make our hopscotch on our driveway. We did have a paved driveway. I, I, no. There you go. It's better. Where, than... Where'd the horse and buggy go? I know. They... I know. <laughs> <laughs> they were uh, uh, parked out back with the outhouse. With the, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Santa, we did use rocks. Uh, <laughs> Anna, while you're here, Kat would like to know when you and dad are doing that wood project. Yeah, she asked, not us. <laughs> we didn't ask. Of course you went to three proms, Grizel. You were probably homecoming queen too, weren't you? I actually could totally see her as homecoming queen. Class president. Can we talk about Grizel's daughter? Grizel, I'm sorry, I've forgotten her name. She is 
gorgeous. I don't get on Facebook. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. I like, don't get on there. like, beautiful. It doesn't like, shock me. Prom queen. It doesn't shock me. Beauty pageant, gorgeous. Scott took me to prom. We stayed for maybe an hour or two and then went out with a group of friends to get food. Then we all spent the night in the basement. Kat, I didn't know that you and Scott had been together that long. High school sweetheart. That. That Wayne and I. so sweet. Wayne took me to our high school banquet, which was like Mexican food in our cafeteria, basically. How did he like doing that in his late 20s? Oh, he didn't care. He didn't care. I did get to dress up, but I'm pretty sure I asked him to go. He did surprise me because he wasn't supposed to be able to go. He had, At that point, he worked in the evenings at FedEx because he had just transferred up here. And he surprised me and um, <clears throat> showed up. That's precious. He wore a hot pink shirt. Hot pink. Wine looks good in pink. He does look very good in pink. Uh, Shirley said, Cat, I won't ask you what you did in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> it was a whole group of them. It was everybody. Adriana is Grizel's daughter's name. Okay. Um, oh, and I'll prom, we'll book my flight. Yes. Oh, listen, we made our own shirts for camping with the flock. We need to make our own dresses for prom with the flock. Yes. Absolutely. You would have had, yes, Mexican food. Yeah, absolutely. I love Mexican food. And if you don't do the live with Doug, I fear they're going to remove your name from the business. Your daddy is ready. <laughs> I'll see if Becca will come on Friday to produce and dad and I will do it. This Friday? This Friday, Anna? On a Friday. Did she say? Oh, yeah. I can do that. Uh, Scott, you robbing the cradle over there? Five years. Except I'd been out of school for five years. <laughs> well, wait, so you weren't even in high school together? How did you all meet? Private message me, text me. Am I buffering over there? Is it all good? You're buffering. Am I buffering? It's good now. Okay. We'll see. Well, that hasn't happened in a while. No, that's weird. Huh. Um... Yeah, they're all excited, Anna, because you've promised them alive. Now you can't back out. Becca, how many years ago did you graduate? I don't want to say. <clears throat> Scott, how many years ago did you graduate? It's been 18 years since I graduated. 18? You graduated high school 18 years ago? Oh. You were a ripe old seven, eight. <clears throat> okay. That's seven. Fine. You were seven. I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> it's good now. Good, Diana. We can wipe this off if you want to keep this. Well, I'm going to do another live. I'm, I'm going to do organic with it, so that's perfect like that. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Becca, did you dye your hair? You did dye your hair, didn't you? Yeah, and I did it this weekend. Looks I did good. hers, too. Looks good. Looks good. Have you ever thought of having guest speakers on your lives? Yes, Kathy. We want to do that. We want to do that. It's so funny. I don't think Lisa's watching because she's in California with her daughter and grandbaby. But uh, we always give her a really hard time about her paper crafting because it takes forever. And we're sitting there eating the ice cream at Cruise Farms this weekend. And her husband was like, you know, you could have Lisa on. And it could be a four-part... <laughs> A four-part series on how to make one paper craft card. A four-part. Because <laughs> she, she takes forever. Yeah. I died laughing. I would love to have Lisa on, though. She's she's actually a teacher. Um, and she's amazing. I love her. She's one of my best friends. She would be so fun to have on here if I can talk her into it. I graduated in <clears throat> 1966, Linda said. Kat said, I graduated 34 years ago. Kate said, 27 years ago. Mom graduated in 77, Mom? 76. 76. They got married in 76? 75? You got... I don't know. It's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a while. Since the 70s. <laughs> yes. Come on, crafters. 75 watching and only... What? And they're only 33... Likes. Hit that like, like button. It's also completely free to subscribe. If you happen to like um, product fails and, and tangents, talking about <laughs> all that, you 
If you happen to enjoy that, <laughs> you might like oak and lamb. So subscribe. It's free. I think I've yawned about 10 times during the live too. I'm sorry. I used to get the rod when I would do that. You graduated in 74, Mom? I'm confused about a timeline now. I thought you... Okay. You got married in 76, right? I'm waiting on somebody, anybody, who has a number close to mine. Anybody. Can no someone, one here graduated. Can someone come out of the woodwork, When did please? you graduate? 2018? <gasps> 16. 2016. I don't think anyone here is as young as what you that, are. Seven years? Sixteen, four, five, six. Yeah. Seven years ago. Anybody? Okay. Christina graduated <laughs> thirteen years ago. This is as close as we've gotten. Thank Hi, you. Russ. Thank you. Yeah, thirteen years. Okay. Um, Stacy graduated the year you were born. Um. Okay. <laughs> Twenty years ago this year, Micah said. Graduated in 2001, Chrissy. At least we're in the 2000s. Yeah, no one's, no one's near 2004. me, 2004. Who? Russell Wade. Russ graduated the year before me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no one's close. No one's close. Oh, Thanks. Amy said her daughter graduated in 2017, if that helps. Done. Thanks. You win, Amy. I'm so glad. <laughs> She is a baby. I'm not I, a baby. I know I'll be 25 my next baby, week. Rachel. 25. On the, the ripe old age of 25. It's the best years of your life. Actually, 30s were the best year of my life. you got a whole lot left to look forward to. It's good. That's good. I'm just getting started. You are. Just getting started. Kate said my daughter graduated in 2015. You could be my daughter, Rachel. Kate, i got to be honest. In a really no, messed up world, no, Rachel quit she, saying that. She could be. I could not be your daughter. I said in a really messed up world. I don't think in any world there would be the physical capabilities for me to be your daughter. I don't know. Now Rachel. Wayne could be my dad. <laughs> this is true. This is a true this is a true statement. But you could not be my mom. My husband graduated when I was one year old. We have been married for 42 years now. Diane, I love that. That's so sweet. My husband graduated when I was eight. No, seven. Yeah, I love that. Tomorrow I have a big birthday. The big seven pies. 75. 75. All I'm thinking, Linda, is I really want seven pies. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of pie? Mm. Mamma. Now Wayne loves pie, doesn't he? Yeah, but I love pie too. Choc I I love chocolate pie. My mammal's chocolate pie and Zach Roach makes one that is really, really close. Mom made it over the holidays. It's fantastic. Also love a chocolate chip pie with some pecans in it, you know. Have I made you that one with the coconut and it? it's very rich. You'd probably hate it. Um you know, I don't I love it. pumpkin pie, but I'll eat it. I love key lime pie. Ugh. Oh, <gasps> really? I can't. Uh, peanut butter pie is really good. Anything with peanut butter. Um, cherry. I mean, uh, apple pie. You, you, you're pretty much not gonna give me a pie that I'll turn down. I guarantee it. There's some pie I've never had. Uh, what's the place, Mom? What's the place up on Clinch Mountain that still serves the vinegar pies? What's that place in um, Turkey Creek? Silk. Something silk pies. Oh, buttermilk. Buttermilk, buttermilk silk. Field. Yeah. Oh, those are so good. Their chocolate chip pie is similar to mine. I love it. Oh, Very good. Their peanut butter pie is good, too. Diana, I got married when I was 25, and I felt so young. I Why is Scott a cradle robber and not Wayne? Because <laughs> I like to bust Scott's <laughs> chops. <laughs> um, I don't love cherry pie. Peach. Peach is you don't like cherry pie? Mm -hmm. Really? Peach pie. Oh, peach pie. I ended up eating one of those nasty cherries that Amber ate like a whole entire jar of. Ugh. Tasted like cough medicine. What was in was it? Was it vodka or what was in it? Uh, bourbon. Ugh, gross. I'm not a fan. I mean, we had a thing of like those moonshine cherries. I finally made Wayne throw them out. I was like, they, they're taking up valuable real estate in my refrigerator. <laughs> For more pickles. Not, yes. Where pickles can go. You know, I made that batch of pickles, right? Yes. 
so I'm dying. Like how how for those of you who can, how long do you let your pickles like three days? Three, I would make three them, days. I would eat those things after three. They're days. just not as good. Like I think it's about a month that mine. It, seriously, because they turn like the specific color, and then you know that they're good. Like it's a dark olivey green versus do the they bright. Stay crunchy? Yes. Well, if you put there's some stuff that you can put in them. I haven't to done keep it, them but I get the really small cucumbers. I love so that those. They're, yeah, the little. Yeah. Bitty bitty ones, and then they're Love. crunchy. Love. But I sent Rachel, um, my mamaw had a pie safe that was phenomenal, and Anna got it, and it's been in her basement, and she finally, she let me bring it to my house. So I have my mamaw's pie safe with my mamaw's pickle recipe engraved on a charcuterie board and a whole run of my mamaw's pickles, and it is like... Precious. I, I potted a plant and named it Inez after her and Aww. put it on there. It's like, I'm such a nostalgic freak. I love that. I love it. I love it. So, like, anyway, can't wait to open these pickles. I'm dying to. Fallon asks me every single day. Um, How are the babies doing? All the babies are great. All the babies are thriving. Sweet potato pie. I love a sweet potato pie. I love the ones from Bojangles. I've never had Bojangles an actual sweet potato pies. Oh, Ugh. So good. You know they left for um, COVID. And they weren't going to bring them back. It was BS. And man. enough people... Like stormed corporate office for them to bring bring them back. Yes, you have to have to... vanilla ice cream when you eat a cherry pie. It breaks up the tartness. I agree, cat. Like mine is covered in cherry. I just want to eat a cream. cherry pie. No, uh, Marie Callender's. Have you had Marie Callender's cherry pie with ice cream? Oh, it's so good. I would good. pick um, cobbler over pie any day. I like cobbler too. I yeah. would pick. Co I like the soft. The cob. I love a cobbler. My oh, Lord, have mercy. The pie safe was my mamaw's mamaw's. What? So which mammals, mammals? I don't I didn't know her. Huh. Um can you do a video on how to make your own paint tent DIY for windy days? I've never made a paint tent. I'll it's look into this. Challenge. Yeah. Paint tent. Maybe we're gonna make a paint tent. I just paint on windy days. In a while. Is there sewing involved? We haven't sewn in forever. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just envisioning like a pop and drape and some trash bags and call it a day. <laughs> trash bags. Uh, well, guys, we've got content coming out for you this week. We've got another live coming on Thursday. There's some member-only content happening this week. You're going to get, of course, our amazing member-only flock talk. Uh, yeah, so ask any last-minute questions you have. We're going to hop off here. We're going to have a little meeting about some content throughout the month of May, which is going to be great. Let me know. Micah, I need a good recipe for a top tier peach cobbler. You could message it to me and I'll make it and be your best friend. I love peach cobblers. I like dump cakes. Those are nice. Oh, Rachel makes this dump cake. We've talked it's about it before. It's so called blueberry good. crunch. It's like a whole box of butter in it. It doesn't, there's but it's whole, really close. Uh, there's almost a stick and a half of butter yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. But the whole bottom is crushed pineapple, and then there's like a layer of blueberry pie filling just straight from the can, and then you just dump a whole yellow cake oh, mix on there. Oh, so good. And then put little pads of butter all over the top, bake it at 350 until it's just... Does it have pecans just, in it? Yeah. Yeah. Pecans in oh. it. Like the chopped pecans. When it's warm with some vanilla ice cream, I swear it's absolute heaven. Now, don't knock it until you try it because you think like pineapple. And oh, no, it is heaven. Mom, it's mom can delicious. vouch. It is so good. Delicious. Yeah. So good. Is it worth buying both color cubes? Yes. Yep. Becca spoke. Well, you get a discount on it too. True. I, I just love them. I love you all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch us have a tad bit of a... Or We're not going to call it a fail because we didn't know. Like, it was a does not this a work fail. video. We were testing it. Yeah. Doesn't work. Don't buy it. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> but we're going to have content out for you guys this week. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Grab the membership for 20 bucks off, not just your first year, but every year. And we'll see you the rest of the week for some more content.